Hey everybody, Austin Hill Shaw here, founder of Creativity Matters and author of The Shoreland of Wonder on Being Creative. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about the relationship between creativity and survival. Creativity and survival. As we all know in our lives, survival is a thing, a kind of a, a way that we're thinking about our lives constantly. How are we going to survive financially? How are we going to survive emotionally? How are we going to survive with all the things that we have going on in this busy world that we live in? And as organizations, of course, we need to think about how we're going to survive vis-a-vis -vis our competitors, how we're going to survive in a changing marketplace. What are the things that we need to do in order to survive and not just to survive but ultimately thrive within whatever our organization does and so today i want to talk about again this idea of survival and in order to bring it home in order to bring it home i want to get it bring it right down to the roots of one of the biggest and most profound thinkers on survival Charles Darwin. And this is what Charles Darwin had to say about survival. It is not the strongest species that survives, nor the most intelligent, but the one most responsive to change. It is not the strongest species that survives, nor the most intelligent, but the one most responsive to change. As we move forward, let's think of that again, that it's not your strength nor your intelligence, but your ability to change, to be able to adapt, to shape shift, to see an opportunity and as opposed to approaching it in, hab in a habitual manner, but being able to say, how can I do this differently? How can I do this creatively? What can I do to innovate in this moment? That is what change is all about. And the inter interesting thing about being a human being is, is that we are primed for change. Our defining trait as being creators allows us to shape shift and change and do things differently over and over again throughout the course of our lives. Now, let's look at the landscape of the economy and the world itself. And in order to do that, I'd like to look at the World Economic Forum that met recently and had this to say on the future of jobs. Essentially what they did is they asked chief human resources and strategy offers of leading global employers on what the current shift means. And this shift is, has been often coined the move towards the fourth industrial revolution. So if we, if we look at the top 10 skills necessary for surviving and thriving within the economy in 2015, you'll notice that creativity is 10th on the list. But what they're predicting is if we move to 2020, what we see is that creativity moves from the number 10 spot to the number 3 spot. That's the biggest leap that we can see on there of all the different skills that are available. So creativity, again, makes this huge leap from the number 10 spot to the number three spot. Some other things that are really interesting to me on this list is you'll notice that things such as people management actually drops a little bit, as does coordinating with others. But on the list, which has never appeared before, is emotional intelligence. And at the bottom in the number 10 spot where creativity used to be is cognitive flexibility. Our ability to hold multiple ways of seeing things in our mind and not be fixed rigidly on one direction or another. And so this is a lot of the reasons behind this. They ascribe to the rise of artificial intelligence and automation. The fact that machines are going to be doing a lot of the things that humans used to do before. It's already underway in the world. And this may seem really scary. It may seem scary to you. Sometimes it can be frightening to me to think of this idea of the machines taking over the world. But what I really like about this list and what gives me profound hope and excitement for the future is what I'm reading in this between the lines is that 
To me, what this list is asking us to do is to stop behaving like machines, stop doing repetitive things, and instead start to bring forth that which makes us most human, which in my opinion is our innate ability to create, our innate ability to create. I think that's the reason that creativity made such a leap from the 2015 to the predicted 2020 job set because creativity as a defining trait of human beings is the thing, as Charles Darwin pointed out, which allows us to change. It allows us to adapt. It allows us to see unforeseen opportunities in chaos and uncertainty to pull out patterns and to do things in a new way that benefits ourselves, that benefits others, and that grows our entire organization. Does that make sense? Good. So, before I leave you, I would like you to contemplate this. What's one area in your life that you recognize that you are resistant to change? Okay, think about that for just a moment. What's an area in your life where you're resistant to change? Got it? Now, look at the organization that you work for and note, make note of one thing in your organization that may be resistant to change or even vulner vulnerable based on its unwillingness to be able to move. Maybe it's a bureaucratic aspect. Maybe it's some aspect of leadership or management. Maybe it's the way that the employees are not wanting to engage or speak out in a particular way. Whatever that thing is, just make notes of those. And now contemplate for a moment what it would be like to actually bring flexibility to that. Cognitive flexibility, right? Emotional intelligence creativity. How might those be ways in which we can start to move past those ways of being stuck? And now imagine what it would be like to have an entire organization that is in that contemplation. How can we avoid being stuck? How can we be more open to change? That is the question for the day. So I hope this has been useful to you. You know, the links between creativity and survival are more important than ever. And I'd love for you to just, again, continue to contemplate on what you or your organization can do in order to start to bring in the ability to survive even better, which has to do with change and, of course, creativity. So this is Austin Hill Shaw once again reminding you to connect deeply, to make a difference, and to inspire creativity in others. Thank you so much for joining me.